everyone and welcome back. Today I want to share with you how I created my own closet out of a regular cabinet in my RV. When we were shopping for RVs, we looked into different floor plans and we look at 29 feet, 30, 23, 24, but truth be told, when we bought our RV, we knew we wanted to boondock. And maybe it's not the first thing that you think of when you're purchasing a new RV. However, we knew we didn't want to be connected in to power. We knew we didn't need to be connected to water. We knew that we could do it because, I don't know, we just thought that we could do it that way and avoid the crowds, avoid the very uh, close together, kind of RV parks and stuff like that and go camp in remote areas where we can rely in our generator, we can rely in our water tank and be a little bit more closer to nature itself. The dogs can be a little bit more free and stuff like that. But because we wanted all that, we had to give up a lot of things that were important, the not as important as boondock, but they were still important and one of those things was the closet space when you get a rig that is 29 feet or 30 you probably will have a separate bedroom and you will have your closet space if you're gonna get a trailer and it's as long as that you're probably also going to get a bedroom for master bedroom I should say with closet however since this is only 23 feet everything it's kind of close together you can see my bed in the back and so we don't have a destinated clo closet space that I could use so I had to put my imagination to work and I started to try different methods I saw a lot of people were using clear containers that didn't work for me it just wasn't practical the containers were never at the exact shape and size that I needed them in order to fit and I also realized that because I'm going to use the cabinets that you can see right there by the bed um, I needed something that was going to be flexible so I could push it in without having to maneuver too much if it was a hard plastic kind of cube or something to store the clothes there so I found a method that works for me and it's very affordable very very cheap you don't have no tools required this is all the organization but what you are going to need are some cubes this I got it at Marshall's it's really nice quality it's it really doesn't get dirty I don't know if the, it's the kind of fabric or what it is but believe me we pull them out and we put it back in a lot and basically you can fold it or you can open it like this and you will have a perfect cube that is going to fit exactly in the area where I'm going to create the closet. I didn't want something that was going to be shorter because I was going to lose that top space. I didn't want something to be like different shorter organizers because I knew that I would have to get them all out I was going to you know it's it was going to be harder if I had different containers but if I have one then I can organize the inside of this cube and I can store all the clothes that I need when we travel my husband and I we will get two of these cubes and the kids will get one each now that is plenty for us we've been on trips for over two weeks and we only just take what we usually wear around the house or what we usually wear on a daily basis and then do laundry and we usually have to do laundry once a week so we do not store a lot of clothes but i'm going to show you i mean i have three different pair of jeans i have dresses i have shirts i have a lot of the things that i wear on an everyday basis so let me show you how how I created my own closet in a regular cabinet in my RV. Okay, so let me show you. Right now, these are the cabinets that I have. And that one, it's my husband's. And this one is usually mine. And in this one, we store other things. Right now, we're cleaning it, so it's pretty much empty. But I'm gonna show you, so I don't have to climb on the bed. Those are my two bins. Now outside the bins i always have my nightgown because i like to keep it here whenever i get dressed this is going to be the last thing that i'm going to fold and put away so i usually try to keep it on one side or sometimes i will put it in the center that is pretty much the only thing that stays outside 
those bins. As you can see, it's the perfect height, so I don't have to mess with storing different cubes one on top of the other this is the perfect height and the perfect width to fit there now what i like about these bins and why i recommend them is because as you can see they're very easy to move if they were hard edges or sides it wasn't going to be easier to remove them and as you can see when you are going to put them back in, they fit perfectly, but also they're flexible. So if they are really, really full, you can still push them in <laughs> and they will fit. I usually grab them by the handle when I'm gonna get ready in the morning. So what I did instead of just putting everything inside the cube is I got these organizers from Dollar Tree. They are one of those um, smallers they have big cubes but i don't like them because they're very very flimsy now being flimsy it helps because i can make them fit into the cube that it's also very very flexible and this one i have a couple of sweatshirts that are still clean and with this one since it they are bigger and bulkier i can't really roll them up so i will fold them as best as i can one on top of the other now for my size of sweatshirts, I can get at least three of them very comfortable. But if I need to put four, it's fine. I can fit four of them here. It's just going to be a little bit more taller. Then let me go back here and I'll show you. I have another one of those bins. And this one has shirts. Now... <laughs> In a tiny home, you're not going to have a lot of uh, clothes. But if you are like me and you like to have a lot of shirts, then this is a great way to store them. Let me show you. Basically, what I do is I roll them. There's a method. I'm going to show you in another video the one that I use. So it's not just rolled, but it actually, even if you kind of mess with it, it's not going to open. Uh, maybe you know about it, but once I realized that I could do that to my shirts, it was really easy. And that way, even if I'm in a hurry and I make a mess out of my closet, I still know that this ones haven't been used because it's that's how I fold them when I wash them. So here I can fit very big t-shirts, normal t-shirts. This one that it's um, more of a tank top. Uh, a smaller t-shirt oh no this is a spaghetti strap this is a spaghetti strap and you know just basically i can fit everything that i need and i can do it in two layers so i can fit at least at least five more shirts here and again they are very easy to store because once we now i'm gonna set it here so you can see but basically what you do is put it inside and my trick so i will have more space is i will put this the longer side first and then this other one the longer side back so as you can see it will make the cube expand a little bit more and it will be the perfect size to fit back into my closet so one hand closet <laughs> let me go in this other one and in this one I have dresses and I don't have another organizer and I'm going to show you why here because these are the bigger things that don't really need to have structure because they do already have some already so I have one pair of jeans two pair of jeans one pair of sweats and two pair of shorts and what I do is I try to make them fit and create that bottom with some kind of shape so I'm not gonna fold them tiny I'm gonna try to make them very slim so I can fit more now on this one I have dresses I love dresses and I can't give them up I have one two three and this one and what I do is I basically fold them so it fits perfectly in this so the same shape and then I have one and two these are longer dresses here 
So as you can see right here, it's kind of longer here than here. So I'm going to grab the smaller bin, Dollar Tree one, that it's very flexible, but it works for this. And I'm going to fit it this other way. So look, it takes that cube form once again. Um, I can fit another one of this on top and I just don't want to show you that but I usually fit another one on top of here and that is going to have my underwear, my socks, undershirts, stuff like that. It will go on top of this one. Uh, that's what I do. I usually like to keep them this way because look it fits perfectly the opening and, and then, then in that cabinet it's my husband so he'll have his clothes in two cubes and again it will be more than enough clothes for him to use does it slide yeah it can slide if you have everything empty but here i usually have other cubes with other stuff so they don't really move while you're driving